Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching the second episode of season three of Star Trek the original series, which is called The Enterprise Incident. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm concerned about Captain Kirk. He shows indications of increasing tension and emotional stress. Oh, it's that time of the month. i would return to your duty and I'll let you know when your work is satisfactory. Wow. I did give a full report on it. Yes, Mr. Spock, that was the past. I'm concerned with the present. Or is it becoming too much for this crew to present me with current information? He has resisted all of my attempts to run a psychological profile on him. Well, that's not good. To 185 Mark III. Sir, that'll lead us directly into the Romulan neutral zone. That's very perceptive, Mr. Sulu. I know where the course change takes us. What? In the neutral zone? Why? See, they're doing it again. They're not... They're not having Kirk explain why he's being the way he is. Very well, Mr. Sulu. Here comes Scotty's hair. <laughs> if you two have any complaints, you can bring them out into the open. <laughs> Romulans. That's a Klingon ship. I mean, Klingons. <laughs> why are there Klingons here? Intelligence reports Romulans now using Klingon design. Romulans using Klingon design? I gotta get with my ships, man. So that's... Okay, I know the Romulan has the bird underneath. We are surrounded. Okay, well, they've definitely got me interested right off the bat. Like, what the heck is going on here? And is it really the Klingon... Wait... The Romulans using Klingon style vessels? Or is it Romulans and Klingons? Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe they're working together now? Mr. Spark, your sensors read clear. What happened? I have a theory, Captain. Captain, Captain Kirk. Kirk? Wonder what Spock was going to say. Your ship is surrounded, Captain. You will surrender immediately or we will destroy you. They want something. Or they would have destroyed us by now. But why are we here? It's my ship they want, and very badly. It would be a great prize. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Chekhov's like, <laughs> what the heck's going on? We give you one of your hours. If you do not surrender your ship at the end of that time, your destruction is certain. That's very generous. You said you had a theory on why your sensors didn't pick up the new ships. I believe the Romulans have developed a cloaking device. Opinions, gentlemen. If the Enterprise is taken by the Romulans, they'll know everything there is to know about a starship. You ordered us. You had no authority. Dismissed, Doctor. Jim, I said dismissed. I mean, Kirk must know something. Like he had information beforehand that they had cloaking, but how? Kirk here. The Romulan vessel is signaling again, sir. I feel like your friends can help you if they understand the situation better, Kirk. The commander wishes to see you and your first officer aboard this vessel. Two of my officers will beam aboard your vessel as exchanged hostages while you are here. What guarantee do we have that they'll beam aboard our ship once we're on yours? But you are the ones who violated our territory. Should it not be we who distrust your motives? Yeah. That's fair. That's true. We are the aggressors here. If we do not return, the Enterprise must not be taken. If necessary, destroy yourself. Is that clear? Perfectly clear. Scotty's like, yeah, I understand. I agree. But we should not be in this situation in the first place. <laughs> Don't even try it. <laughs> Couldn't those... I mean... Shouldn't they have more security up there? Oh, hello. Come on. Was not expecting that. I'm on it. Oh, this is why he came. I'm just kidding. You are the first officer. Spock. You may wait outside. The matter of trespass into Romulan space is one of galactic import. Mm-hmm. What is your mission here? Instrument failure caused navigational error. He's lying to me. 
Or tell me the truth. Accidents can happen. Cut off, backup systems can malfunction. We were due for an overhaul two months ago. But I doubt if it will clear you of espionage. You're grossly mistaken. If you think that we were there... Captain, if a Romulan vessel ventured far into Federation territory without good explanation, what would a Starbase commander do? Spock, come in. Oh, she's going to ask him to corroborate the story of the instrument failure. I must admit, some surprise on seeing you, Spock. They know each other? Yet there are certain ships, certain officers that are known to us. Your situation appears most interesting. We can appreciate the Vulcans, our distant brothers. Makes sense. Then tell me truthfully now, what was your mission? It is not a lie to keep the truth to oneself. You've been told everything. There's nothing else to say. There is Mr. Spock's unspoken truth. Face with a blatant spy mission by order of the Federation. We've been all through that, Commander. We have not even begun! Kirk just does not have his cool in this episode. But I will know your unspoken truths. Yeah, me too. Thank you. He has not been himself for several weeks. That's a lie! I believe he has lost the capacity for rational decision. Shut up, Spock! Our rapid capture demonstrates his foolhardiness. You filthy liar! I'll kill you! Okay, I don't know if either Kirk is acting wildly out of character or Spock's in on it too. This is frustrating to watch. First Officer Spock's testimony was specific that your ship was not under orders from Starfleet Command or the Federation Council. Therefore, I am ordering Engineer Scott, presently in command of the Enterprise, to follow the Romulan flagship. Okay. Channel is open, Mr. Scott, and you are tied in. What are you gonna do, Scotty? The Enterprise takes no orders except those of Captain Kirk. And if you make any attempt to board or commandeer the Enterprise, it will be blown to bits. There are ways to convince you of your errors. I love her. I love her. Take him to the security room. She's great. And I'm talking about both like the actress, <coughs> excuse me, as well as the character. And she just look, she's rocking the uniform. I am half Vulcan. My mother is a human. Do you call yourself Terran or Vulcan? Vulcan. You are a superior being. Why do you not command? I do not desire a ship of my own. Or is it that no one has offered you a Vulcan? That opportunity. Opportunities are made and will be. I will see to that. If you will stop looking on the Federation as the whole universe, it is not, you know. Hmm. Commander, shall we speak plainly? Okay. It is you who desperately need a ship. It would be a great achievement for me to bring home the Enterprise in time. I wonder if they... But but then Uhura would have to be on it, too. If they um, got a hold of Romulan, like, frequencies, and they heard about the cloaking and that she was going to somehow try to take the Enterprise. So the Enterprise is trying to get the jump on them and they had to make it look like they had to do this whole charade so that Starfleet would not be like put in danger and the the rest of the Enterprise would not be in danger if, if their mission failed, if Kirk and Spock's mission failed. I don't know. <laughs> You'll recover, but you'll need further attention. Inform your superior. I neglected to mention. I'll expect you for dinner. Indeed. Allow me to to rephrase. Will you join me for dinner? I am honored, Commander. Are the guards also invited? <laughs> Mr. Spock. That corridor is forbidden to all but loyal Romulans. I shall obey your restrictions. Okay, he's scoping it out, getting a feel. They're looking for something. Technology. If I'm wrong, <laughs> I'm going to feel pretty dumb. But I have this narrative in my head of what's going on. And it could be wrong. Captain Kirk's condition. Well, you can see for yourself. He's mentally depressed, physically weak. Could this uh, mental incapacity have afflicted him earlier? Yes, it's possible. He was and is unfit to continue in command of the Enterprise. That duty has now fallen on you. I am ready. 
Spock, I don't believe it. There's no price you could pay that would make him sell out. Okay. What did you do? Bones isn't in on it. If there's something to be in on. I instinctively used the Vulcan death grip. Your instincts are still good, Mr. Spock. Captain is dead. Wow. We've never seen the death grip used. He's like a dead possum on the side of the road. <laughs> we, I don't think we've seen it used until now. And it was Spock on Kirk. That's crazy. Doctor! He's alive! Alive! Well, now that you know it, you might as well assist me. Hand me the physio stimulator. Now that you know it. Bones was in on Gave him a nerve pinch to simulate death. And you knew that all the time, and you didn't... I didn't know it until I beamed aboard the Romulan ship. Jim and Spock were operating under Federation orders. I knew it. I knew it. My neck feels like it's been twisted off. That's the Balkan death grip for you. There's no such thing as a Balkan death grip. Oh, but the Romulans don't know that. Wait, didn't we learn about the Vulcan... Oh, death pinch. In Journey to Babel? Keep the Enterprise and the Federation off the hook. Yes, exactly. So that but... if anything went wrong, you would be the one to blame. Oh, so if it came from Starfleet, then Starfleet maybe got a hold of Romulan um, stuff. So Hera wouldn't have, like, intercepted the message. I can't leave the bridge at a time like this. You have to, it's urgent. We're surrounded by enemy vessels ready to attack us. I don't know of anything more urgent than that. <laughs> It better be important. What? Captain Kirk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? What's it all about? <laughs> Are those Romulan officers still aboard the ship? I'll need a Romulan uniform. But he still looks like Kirk. I mean, maybe with a helmet? Because they have helmets, right? So Kirk is going to use his disguise to get into that forbidden room. What the devil is Spock doing? What's delaying him? Uh, he needs a helmet. I wish I knew. Prepare to beam me aboard the flagship. But Mr. Spock hasn't sent the proper coordinates yet. Can't be helped, Scotty. You're taking an awful chance, Jim. Centurion. I'm sorry, no one is I have just affected an escape from the Federation vessel. Centurion? What? They don't know who the Centurion... I mean, I know it's like a... important title, right? We will find a place for you. If you wish it. With me. Romulan women are not like Vulcan females. We are not dedicated to a logic. And you think that he's interested in that? If he was, he'd be all over Nurse Chapel. But we are also many other pleasant things. Was she trying to appeal to his human side? As a Vulcan, you would study it. As a human, you would find ways to appreciate it. I do appreciate it. I am so glad. You will lead a small party of Romulans aboard the Enterprise. And there you will take your rightful place as its commander. Yes, of course. But not just this moment. You do know I have a first name. I think she does like him. Would you like to hear it? But I want to know, too. How rare. And how beautiful. If you will give me a moment, the soldier will transform herself into a woman. I wonder if it's like the Vulcan names that we couldn't pronounce kind of thing? I'm already on board, Spock. Do you have the information? Yes, Captain. The cloaking device is in an area near the commander's quarters. Subcommander Tal, I'm receiving an alien transmission from within our vessel, sir. I must know the source. Right in the room now, sir. Yep, so it's about the cloaking device. So at present, I am rather heavily... Oh, hello. Love the swirly swirls. Tire now more appropriate? Yes. It was good before, too. 
It should actually stimulate our conversation. Oh my, stimulation. We're stimulating again. I wonder if this has any meaning to Romulans. Do they use it the same way the Vulcans do? Do they have that symbol, but it means like maybe something else? Centurion, have you clearance for this area? I must see your authorization. Oh, there. It's hard to believe that I can be so moved by the touch of an alien hand. Not that alien, right? I too. Well, I'm he's... moved emotionally. Accept what is happening between us, even as I do. Permission to enter. Not now. Uh, it is urgent. Tonight. So I wonder if the, since the Romulans, I think they feel like more strongly, they have stronger emotions have intercepted an alien than humans. Located source. And obviously Vulcans, so. This room. Oh dear. I guess it would make sense that she'd be all jumping his. A cloaking device. Bring him. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting over COVID. I feel like my brain is just not. I can't think of words right now. Who are you? What are you doing in here? This is a very dangerous mission. Sorry. Energize. Well, they did it so far. But now Spock, they got to get Spock back. And they got to get the Enterprise out of there without being chased well, sir, down. What about Mr. Spock? We'll just have to hope he can buy us enough time to get this cloaking device installed. Oh, that's how they could get away. I'm assuming this isn't the only cloaking device that the Romulans have. Are we just trying to get on like equal ground or trying to, I mean, with, with that, we could learn a lot. Why would you do this to me? What are you that you could do this? Starfleet officer. First officer of the Enterprise. What is your present form of execution? Dang. Captain's log, star date 5027.4. We'll be fine. Scotty can do it. I hope Mr. Spock can buy us the time we need. Captain, your ears. What happened? We'll discuss it later. I said. I said. I said. I kind of, I don't know if it was purposeful, but I liked his like very, um, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of, but he was carrying like a bravado, but then as soon as everybody dispersed, you could see like the nervousness on his face. Recording the Romulan right. Proceed, Commander Spock. My crime is sabotage. I freely admit my guilt. So I'm wondering if they're trying to take the technology so they can, Starfleet can create cloaking devices themselves so they could put them on equal ground. Or if they could find a way to like disable it by learning how it works. I carried out my duty. Everyone carries out his duty. Your 20 minutes is almost up. Mr. Chekhov, there's only one Vulcan aboard that ship. He should be easy enough to locate. Romulans and Vulcans appear to read almost exactly alike. There is just a slight difference which got him, sir. What's the difference? I wonder if they're gonna speak about that. I've got the device installed, but bless me if I know whether it's going to work. Spock aboard. There is also the combined Romulan Vulcan history of Oh, she's coming with. Transporter room reports Mr. Spock aboard, sir, and the Romulan commander. The commander? Aye, sir. <laughs> All right. I guess that works in their favor. <laughs> Warp factor nine. Nine? Can they even do that? I would give you credit, Captain, for getting this far. You will be dead in a moment. We have you under our weapons enterprise. You cannot escape. We have your commander aboard. Commander. Destroy this vessel. Scotty, we're running out of time. Captain, I'm working as fast as I can. Your effort is being wasted. He's looking a little nervous now. Distance from the Romulan vessel? 150,000 kilometers, Captain, and closing very rapidly. How fast can these guys go? Warp 10? Commander, you'll forgive me if I put up a fight. Of course. It's expected. Scotty. It's ready now, Captain, but I don't know whether our circuits can handle this alien contraption. What a gamble. It'll likely overload. Just do it. We're dead either way. <laughs> Weapons officer, commence fire. 
That's cool. Wonder what it looks like in the original effects. Compute enemy course from last position and open fire. Yes, sir. Nice. The cloaking device is working perfectly. Even the Romulan sensors cannot track a vessel so equipped. We'll let you off at the nearest Federation outpost. If I may be taken to your brig, I will take my place as your prisoner. The Spark will have the honor of escorting you to your quarter. Captain? So what's going to happen with her? All the Federation wanted was the cloaking device. And what did you want? It was my only interest when I boarded your vessel. And that's exactly all you came away with. You underestimate yourself, Commander. Mm. Military secrets are the most fleeting of all. I hope that you and I exchanged something more permanent. Mm. Is he for real for real? It was your choice. You would not respect any other. It will be our secret. Hmm. Well, if all the shouting's over up there, I'd like for you to report to sickbay. What for? I'm going to bob your ears. <laughs> Please go. Somehow, they do not look aesthetically agreeable on humans. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> okay. I really liked that one. Quite agreeable to me. I loved getting to interact with the Romulans again. Since season one, we haven't really um, come into contact with them, so that was really cool. It's great to see their ships. It's great to see um, their uniforms and to learn a little bit more about how they do things their chain of command uh it was really cool to see like a, a woman commander that wasn't something that i expected the girl was beautiful and she looked so good in both of the outfits that they put her in and i noticed that miss fontana likes to put spock in situations where his romantic feelings can kind of come to the surface i'm thinking of like this side of paradise specifically and with Journey to Babel, she seems to like to explore kind of like the Vulcan versus human um, sides of Spock kind of conflicting with each other. I thought this episode had a really good hook. It really got me curious right from the beginning and guessing as to what was going on for quite a long time as far as what are Kirk's reasons for going into the neutral zone? Who's in on it? Is he really going crazy or is it just an act? I guess one thing that I am curious about and would like you guys to explain to me a little bit more is the role or the rank of Centurion. And I don't remember if you guys really explained it in depth, but from the um, episode Balance of Terror, there was the Centurion that was on the vessel, the Romulan vessel, and he was like very old. And Centurion, a century, a hundred years, um, since Vulcans lived for a long time, I don't know if it would be worth to note that somebody is a hundred years because I'm not really sure how old they actually get. Like maybe a hundred is kind of young to them still. So is Centurion somebody who is a hundred years or somebody who's been in the service for a hundred years is what I would assume. But like in the Romulan arm army or whatever it is. But I felt like it was a very esteemed rank or role that would be very uncommon but this episode leads me to believe that it's something more common that it's not something so rare or important that you would easily know like all the centurions that are on board your vessel and what they look like and what their names are looking back i do see that one of the romulans that they beamed aboard as the other as like the hostages is wearing that like uniform that kirk had with the sash so that guy that they brought aboard was a centurion he doesn't look really old like the other one did in balance to terror balance of balance of terror so yeah i would love to learn more about centurions and then also gosh i'm just questioning like my prior knowledge of like these episodes and my understanding so in journey to babel it was the vulcan neck neck pinch death pinch no vulcan neck pinch so at first I thought 
that we were seeing what they were talking about in Journey to Babel, but I guess they're two separate things because the Vulcan death grab doesn't exist, but the Vulcan neck pinch does, and that's what they use to execute. And I guess one more thing that this episode has me thinking about is Spock's relationship with the Romulan commander. And the only times we've really seen Spock go against like his logical side and go more towards his emotional side with regards to like a romantic um, relationship that I can think of is again the side of paradise where he was under the influence of that plant and amok time where he was under the influence of that virus and it seems that he was actually weakened by this the allure of this Romulan lady and so I wonder what that's about like why why her do Romulans have these kind of characteristics that are exciting to Spock because physically like biologically he has a lot in common with them and then emotionally they're kind of more like human like his human side so like the Vulcans physically are like his Vulcan side and then humans are emotionally like his human side but Romulans are kind of like a mix of the two kind of like he is a mix of the two I wonder if that had anything to do with it I'm probably overthinking it <laughs> but I'm just I want to understand because I want to kind of have an idea in my head that makes sense to me even if it's not true or proven and I'm sure everybody has their own headcanon or maybe there's been some kind of official uh, way to know exactly what's going on here like why he was into her but it's just rare that he would be into somebody without being under the influence of something else and maybe I missed it maybe they mentioned what um, they were gonna do with her afterwards I guess it's probably safe to assume that they would uh, eventually arrange Starfleet would arrange for her to get transported back to the Romulan side but I don't know they didn't really say, I don't think, so I'm kind of curious about what's going to happen to her after this, but I guess that wasn't important or they didn't have enough time to kind of um, go into that in the episode. Oh yeah, and we got to see Kirk looking like a Romulan slash Vulcan with the ears and the eyebrows, which was <laughs> pretty interesting. Yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this one. I did enjoy it quite a bit more than the, uh, the previous episode. And yeah, I really, I really enjoy the episodes where Romulans or Vulcans or Klingons make an appearance. It's just really interesting. It's always so interesting when that happens. All right, I'm going to call it quits there for now. Thank you guys for watching with me. Please leave your comments and answer all my questions and let me know what you think about this episode. How does it rank for you? And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the comments. See you next time. Bye bye.